Okay, here's the good part. God will never give a male a finished woman. This is very important now. The woman that you are looking for, the one in your head, does not exist. That's why you can't find the perfect woman. She only exists in your mind. God will only give you the raw material. He said, I want you to cultivate her and make her into the woman in your mind. So your job is to develop and to refine and to train and to educate and to improve the woman in your life. That means the longer a woman stays with you, the better she should become. Too many men have a mindset where they expect a woman to be ready made as soon as she come as soon as he comes across her path. You know what I mean? And that's not realistic. You know, something I believe is don't expect or require anything from a woman that you can't teach her. The only thing that you want to make sure that you're doing is being in your masculine energy, not doing things out of order, making sure that you establish that good dick and that guidance, and just making sure that's a woman who you have enough influence on for her to be teachable to you so that you can teach her the things that you like. You know, like if you like head a certain way, I see so many guys online talking about they never came from head. I'm like, listen, some of those dudes I see sometimes and dealt with women who I done dealt with and they said the same thing. They never made a dude nothing from head. But I'm like, hold up. Uh, first time I hit, I taught her exactly what to do and she did it for me. So it's like, you know, you can't just expect a woman to know everything that you want and how you need it. You know, and good dick and guidance, it's, it's an important thing. It's about, you know, leaving a woman better than you found her. And that's another reason why I don't believe in just only want to deal with a woman just on a sexual basis. You know, I do believe in starting off with biology first. You know, woman come through three separate cases, not three, not three, uh, not three rounds, but three separate links. After those three separate links, you know, then you start, then she's a part of the rotation. You start seeing how she's adapting to different things. You start seeing how she's, uh, how she's acting. You start seeing if she is trying to have the conversations or spend time together outside of sex or you don't have to do all that yet like go out on dates yet but it's one of those things where you're just spending time with a woman you get to know her but you start off by establishing a certain level of sexual chemistry and a certain level of you know compatibility you know once that sexual compatibility is there that woman's feminine and submissive with you you give her instructions she follows them especially if you got her digmatized and you say jump she say ha ha now you're in a good position to where you can teach that woman the things that you like. Like part of the reason I don't believe in just playing the, the gigolo role at the gentleman gigolo uh, complex type of thing, which I have done before. Part of the reason I don't really believe in doing that is because one, you know, sex comes with its risks. So I don't believe in having a rotation of a whole, whole bunch of women. Like I used to believe in that. I used to do that. But I never was like, you know what? I just trying to hit all the women in the world that I can. There's too many of them out there. My mindset is more so I'm only really interested in dealing with women that uh, by dealing with them, it helps me progress in, in, per, uh, in perfecting my program. So there's women I dealt with where it wasn't going to become a relationship, but through the time of dealing with those women, I started teaching them things. And through teaching them things, I've benefited from what I taught them to where they'll, you know, be more reciprocators. They spend their own money. They'll, they'll do things for me. They'll help me out with different stuff. And I'll help them out with different stuff as far as teaching them things. And just through that process, those women really appreciated me to the point where they wanted to, you know, it didn't have to be a relationship. They just appreciated the things that they were learning and it helped them have better relationships in the future. Now, that's a big aspect of it, right? When we're talking about grooming a woman. Right. When it comes to grooming a woman, you're teaching her the things that you like, the things that you need. But one, you have to know yourself as a man. Two, you got to be a certain level of on point. Your game got to be on point. But three, whatever you want from a woman, you got to know how to teach it to her. Whatever it is that you desire, that you require, you got to know how to teach her those things and how to make that a precedent and a standard and not just expect that she knows how to do all that shit before she comes your way. So, like, if a woman is open to you, she's teachable. You know how to do certain things, you can do that. Let's say it's cooking. 
right? You can teach a woman, set her on a path to where now she's building up her her cookbook. She's building up her repertoire of things she can cook. You know, there's different things that come with it. You know, and these are things that you could benefit from, and it doesn't have to be a relationship for it to be that, but it's still something that's more than just sex. You know what I mean? Because this dick ain't free. It's not. Uh, it You know, you get some, some samples, but I'm not about to give a woman an A-game dick because she's not on nothing. It's like it don't work like that. Now, I, I keep that to myself. You know, first first link or so, not giving a woman an A-game dick, but you got to have some levels to your sex game to, to do it that way. Like, if you ain't got no wrinkles in your sex game, then when you try to give a woman some C-game dick, then she's going to be like, what is this? And <laughs> she's just not going to hit you up again. So to, to move like that, you got to have a certain level of skills and a certain repertoire. But if you got those wrinkles to your sex game, I, I do not suggest. Like, if you got toxic dick, don't be giving women an A-game dick on the first time. Because one, you could be setting yourself up for some fuck shit. Like a woman th saying, a woman ever threatened to kill you? Like, I've had women say shit to me like that after I hit it the first time. Or... Women always being passive aggressive with you, be like, I'm surprised the bitch ain't cut you yet. You ain't never lied to her or nothing like that. You was always a hundred with her. And that's some crazy stuff that a woman would say to you if she's not truly feminine, submissive, but she's just addicted to the dick, right? And she's upset at the fact that you still have other women. So, you know, you gotta know what you're doing. You gotta know what you're doing. But when it comes to just grooming a woman, teaching her certain things, you gotta know what you want. You know, cause the, the nature of feminine energy the nature of femininity is to be malleable, is to be moldable, you know? And if a woman's malleable and moldable, what are you doing with that? Like some dudes, they get upset because they feel like a woman don't know what she wants. She's not supposed to know what she wants, bro. She's not. All right. Some dudes will say, well, if she wants exactly what I want. When we start dealing with each other, then we're compatible. That's not true. You know, you're compatible for that specific thing. And if anything is outside of that, then you're probably not going to be compatible. So it's like if you, you come up to a woman and you have your relationship minded and she's looking for a relationship, then she may pursue that with you. But she may be ignorant, not integrated about different things that she wants. So when you say you're looking for a relationship, she may go ahead and put you in the box of being somebody she's not trying to be fully sexually open to. Because that may be part of her experiences, her lifestyle. Or let's say you you find a woman who is, you know, she wants just dick. That's all she wants is some sex. You know, with that particular woman, she may not be truly feminine and submissive with you. She may not want to get with your overall program. She just wants some dick, right? And she may just do you in a certain way to where you're going to fuck with her a couple times. After that, she's done with you. Even if the dick's good. If it's too good, she might cut you off for that. You know what I mean? And it's one of those things to where... A lot of times if a woman takes a mindset where all she wants from you is sex, then the way she's going to interact with you is going to be in a way where she's going to limit the sexual, the non-sexual access of herself she gives to you and to limit the desire for non-sexual access she wants from you so that she can keep it just sex. And there's nothing wrong with being in a casual sex situation. You know, the biology first is starting off in casual sex. It's like really what the biology first approach is about is taking advantage of being in this hookup culture era and using that to your advantage to find a woman who sexually desires you as a as a priority so that you can build on that foundation. But it's not about just being perpetually in a state of being a gigolo. Like that's not what it's about for me. For some men that works. Like if you're in a place in your life where you're not looking for relationships, you don't want nothing out of a woman, all you want is some pussy, then hey, listen, go ahead, have fun with it, knock yourself out. But one thing that I suggest is, and this is from what I've seen, there's a lot of guys who they'll go through that process of, you know, a whole phase or whatever you want to call it. And as they go through that process, as they go through those type of things, they get to the place where they just do that for an extended period of time. And then the gap between what they see a woman as relationship material and what they see as sex material, it gets so wide that all they're dealing with is women they don't see as actual relationship material for them. And then that standard of what they see as relationship material just begins to grow and grow and grow. And then now it's even incongruent with who they are as a person. So it's like they just never get to the place where they'll be, you know, willing to have a relationship or settle down or anything like that. So it's just it's about dealing with women in a way to where your program is always going to have forward movement. I don't like stagnant situations. I don't like anything that's stagnant. Like if a woman is just nothing good but nothing good for nothing but sex to, to me over a period of time, 
then, you know, after a while, she might just get cut out of the rotation because the rotation going to have a limited amount of women that could be in there in the first place. And if it's a limited amount of women, if you're only good for sex, then I don't really want you there for no extended period of time. You might hit it a couple times or, you know, on an off day, nobody else available. But that's just like, it's not something to really want to sustain. You know, and a big part of that is just <clears throat> get to the point in your program where damn near all the women that you'll deal with are going to be women who, if they get with your program, they're attractive enough and feminine and submissive enough with you and you have enough in common to where if things progress well, she could possibly be a woman that you could deal with, on, on, you know, fuck with the long way. Possibly. Right. But when we're talking about grooming a woman is you got to be able to teach her the things that you want. Can you teach her those things? Can you get her mind right? Now, the good dick and the guidance plays a big part in her ability to be teachable, right? It plays a part in her ability to be teachable, her femininity, her submissiveness with you. And when those things aren't present, you just put yourself in kind of a, a, a spot to where you're just getting whatever she's willing to give you. I, I want whatever I can get, you feel me? So, you know, I got my program, I got my standards, the way I do things. But when we're talking about grooming a woman, it's like... You can't be expecting a woman to be 100% prepared. And you guys who like to judge women for their past, what you got to understand is a woman who comes to you who appears to be prepared, a lot of times she's just been inundated and has been, you know, put into another man's program and she just liked his program and she with that. Where's your program at? Maybe another dude's program includes certain things that are a premium for you that are the bare minimum for him. And because she's been put into that program, her giving you the bare minimum of what she was giving that other man is just like, oh, she's just perfect. Oh, she she pays for dates herself. She'll buy me food. She'll suck dick without being asked. And, you know, when I'm ready to fuck, she ready. It's like, that's not enough. If you think that's enough, man, you got to reevaluate your standards. You got to reevaluate your priorities. But that is a good start. But that's the bare minimum. There's niggas out here who are getting a lot more out of women than that. And they're but you also got to make sure that eventually you have some type of way of reciprocating. And you want to make sure that your dick and your guidance, your good dick and your guidance has a value. It's a premium to that woman. Your masculinity is something that she doesn't feel she can just get anywhere. And when she feels that way about you, she'll give with your program. So just, you know, <clears throat> you can't expect things from a woman that you can't teach her.